Welcome to the Vegan Bikini Prep Diaries, episode five. Today, we are doing a full day of eating and day in the life during a rest day. We're doing check-ins this morning, so I have my little check-in station and it has to be consistent every single Monday. So yeah, this is it. I have my ring light and my little phone tripod always set up in the same setting. I like to have the mirror so I could like see when it's about to, the camera's about to go off. But yeah, that's like my little posing area. And then I'll set it up over here again because this will give me more room to pose. And here I'll do my posing video. But this is just for like check-in photos and I have to set that up every single Monday, which is kind of ridiculous. I wish I would have a space for that, but. <laughs> so now I'm taking measurements and I have to take measurements in my waistline. And then you take measurements in the smallest part of your waistline. When you're doing check-ins, you don't wanna like squeeze it to get your measurement. You wanna make sure that it just lays right where it needs to lay, and that's it. We're at 24.5, that's a new low. And then, then you go to the biggest part of your glutes. We're at 36.5, not bad at all. Last time I was at this weight, I was actually a whole inch smaller on my glutes. So that makes me really happy, glute gains. Yes! <laughs> So now I'm gonna do my right side, which is the side that I don't normally pose on. And this is just to make sure that I don't create any imbalances and I just keep like my hips in line. So I always do the right side. So this side looks really funky, but it's good to practice. So now we're making breakfast. I have here some veggie vegan ham that I'm going to air fry for a little bit just because I like it warm. But the start of the show is the cream of rice. That's just for my protein because I wanted hot coffee, not protein coffee today. So I just make hot coffee and yeah, let's make this cream of rice. Today I'm using the blueberry muffin from Pry Foods. You can use code Natalie at checkout. about 42 grams. I'm gonna fill this out with water. And the blue color is from blue spirulina. That's super cool. I love blue spirulina. It's packed with amazing benefits and nutrients and vitamins. So we love that. I'm gonna put it for one and a half minutes. How often do you overflow the cream rice? I overflow it a lot. <laughs> you gotta keep an eye on it, okay? And I've been getting good at making it in the rice cooker, so as soon as I have that nailed down, I'll share it with you guys because, yeah, overflowing cream of rice or even oatmeal is a real thing during prep, prep brain. Uh, but so far we're good. You know, we're entering week six, still mentally strong. So this is the veggie ham that I'm using. It is basically seitan, so don't come after me saying, oh my gosh, you eat so much processed food. Guys, I'm only eating a little bit of processed foods and these are not like ultra processed foods, so it's fine. It's just one of my favorite protein sources is seitan and sometimes I just don't wanna make it at home. So super convenient, highly recommend. The macros are amazing, just one gram of fat, two of carbs, and 10 of protein. And I'm having three slices. 
So the majority of the foods that I eat are whole foods. I just like to do like the 80-20 approach where I eat 80% whole foods and 20% processed foods or minimally processed foods and that's what I find that works for me but you can do vegan or whatever diet you want however you want I'm not here to like tell people how to eat or anything like that I'm just doing me and sharing my experience and what works for me Now I'm gonna eat my breakfast and after I do this, I'll send my check-in photos, check-in video, and fill out all the questionnaire that my coach has me doing every single Monday just to track progress and see where we're at. And I'll send that over and see what she says. That's good. <laughs> what I like to do is center my pictures. So I just sent Jamie my check-ins and not just pictures and measurements, but I also fill out like a little questionnaire that she has me doing every single week. And we discuss like my hunger, how I'm feeling, energy, strength, sleep, all of those things that are very important during a competition prep. And based on that, my measurements and the photos and the videos, she takes that and We'll make adjustments if needed. So now we just have to wait and see. Usually it takes her anywhere from three hours to like at the end of the day maybe, but she's pretty quick to reply. So I can't wait to share with you what she says. So today I have a 10K step goal. So we're gonna get my steps in before George goes to work. And yeah, we gotta do that every single day, even on my rest days. So I meal prepped these protein apple fritters from my cookbook, Fit Vegan Kitchen, link in bio. And they're just amazing. I love them. They're packed with like apples, lots of cinnamon, and oat flour, and vital wheat gluten is what gives them protein. And I just reheat it in the air fryer for about eight minutes or so, and I just keep an eye on it, and it gets super crispy. I love it but I keep a lot in stock either in the freezer or in the fridge. And whenever I like have a craving for that, I just grab it. It has amazing ingredients and tastes amazing. It's big and it's very filling because of all the fiber. So good. Here is my big ol' salad. I'm not gonna lie, I already digged in because I couldn't wait for you guys. It looks so good, it smells amazing. And yeah, this is what I'm having for today. Usually on a training day, I want like a quick digesting carb after my workout because I wanna like replenish everything that I lost during my workout. So I'll pick like rice, for example, and my lupini bean seitan, which I have in here, and like a veggie and avocado or follow your heart dressing. But today I was like, you know what? I'm gonna try quinoa today. I wanna see how it digests for me and how I feel afterwards. I haven't had quinoa in a while, but it is good to like try out and see what does good for you during a competition season and how your body just, you know, digest certain foods. So I'm curious and I was really craving something like this. So I'm gonna have it. And then the sweet potato, the sweetness from the sweet potato. Oh, so good. Don't judge me. I am eating with a spoon my salad, so. Mm, that is so good. I'm happy about my decision. All right guys, so I just got my reply back from Jamie. And before I get into what she said and how she's adjusting everything for this upcoming week, um, I wanna talk a little bit more about what happened this past week after she made the drops in calories, which wasn't much at all, but it is the first time 
in a long time that I actually felt hunger and I felt really hungry throughout the week and I was like, oh my gosh, I forgot what it's like to have this feeling and I'm not complaining here or anything. I'm fully embracing it because it honestly means that we're in a calorie deficit and that's exactly what you want to be in a deficit when you're in competition prep. So yeah, I am just kind of like sharing my experience with you guys and keeping it transparent, but I was really, really hungry. And you know, people always ask me like, hey, what do you do to manage this? And honestly, there's not much managing it be besides just kind of going through it and you have to kind of like ignore it, basically. You gotta get good at ignoring it and it sounds harsh, but it is the truth. You just have to deal with it. Um, there's ways that help, like you know, making sure that you're drinking en enough water throughout the day and spreading out your protein intake, spreading out your meals evenly throughout the day. Um, those things are really, really important to kind of like make that a little bit better. Like prep will get to the point where you're just hungry all the time. It is just part of it, but it's going to be different from person to person. Some people feel it more than others. Some people don't give a shit about it and they do fine. And some people, it really messes with them. So that is something that I just wanted to talk to you guys about. So you guys know what it takes to like do this because a lot of people don't know they just see the glitz and the glam and they don't really talk about this and they don't know what to expect and then when they do a prep they're like wait am I weird why am I having these feelings when in reality we all have these feelings but yeah let's talk about check-ins so with my check-ins um, Jamie reply with no changes to macros which I'm super excited for because that means that I'll continue to diet on higher calories which I'm all for and I kind of expected that because my measurements did drop quite a bit and I'm supposed to be having my period either today or tomorrow so that explains the pound up so I am completely fine with that because you know I've been tracking my progress so long that I know that when my period comes I gain one to two pounds and that's completely normal for me some people don't gain anything and some people gain a lot, so. Oh, we're adding a hit session on my back and shoulder day. That is interesting. I'm excited for it. I haven't done hit since I turned pro. The prep where I turned pro, I was doing hit sessions on the spinning bike and I loved it. I used to have a Peloton bike before it was cool and I sold it when we moved to California and I've regretted it so many times because I love spinning. So I'll have to see if one of the four gyms that I go to has a spinning bike, but if they don't, I can pick between different things. Like, let me see here. She's giving me options to pick between stairs, rowing, bike, elliptical, jump rope, that's fun. Battle ropes, I love battle ropes, but they're so hard. And shadow boxing, which I've never done before, so I'm not gonna pretend to know what I'm doing with that. So yeah, I think I'm gonna try the stairs this week. That sounds really fun. I'm excited for HIT and I'm excited to see the check-ins next week and how my body responds to it. Cause it's been quite some time, but I remember that when I did it, I really enjoyed it. Um, and then ever since I've just been doing steady state. So this is something new. So I have 10K step goal and one HIT session per week. That's it. I'm excited. <laughs> Guys, I have a new toy. I have a Ninja Creamy Ice Cream Maker. You're like, Natalie, why did you blow all your money on this? You have a Vitamix. Well, the Vitamix is too much work. <laughs> and I was influenced. I was influenced by two amazing people. Jennifer Dory, like Miss Bikini Olympia, hello. She's been making protein ice cream on her YouTube channel and I was like, I gotta get on that train. And then, Stephanie, that vegan babe, she was like, girl, you need this in your life. And I was like, okay, yes, I do say no more. So I got, I got the big one, the family size. I didn't need a family size, but I got the family size. But in here is my base. You have to make it the night before. And I'll probably do a whole YouTube video on like my favorite protein ice cream recipes. And we'll do that later on. But right now this is gonna be super basic and very boring. So I could get more elaborate on like higher carb days, but Today's not a high carb day, so 
All that is in here is one cup of the Good Karma flax milk that has eight grams of protein and then one scoop of the Lean Vegan Protein from Lip Body, their pumpkin pie flavor. Yeah, I'm still on that pumpkin pie grind. Um, <laughs> I still had some leftover, so I was like, I feel like having pumpkin spice. And then I added a ton of pumpkin spice and cinnamon. That's it. If it were to be a high carb day, I would add some uh, Simply Delish pudding because it improves the flavor a lot. So the only downside of this machine is that it's extremely noisy. So I'm gonna show you, but I'm not gonna be able to talk you through it. But yeah, this has been sitting out for a while. You kind of need it to get thought out a little bit. And I'm gonna close it. I'll put it on the bottom setting, not the full, because it's not a full serving. And then I'll put it on light ice cream, which is four minutes. All right, so this always happens where it just kind of looks powdery. So now I'm just gonna add a little bit of the milk and then move it around and then I'm gonna re-spin it. So this is the texture that I want it. See that? Scoopable. So now I'm just gonna make a hole in the middle to put my mix-ins and I'm just using some sugar-free chocolate. These guys, they're the best. Just eight grams. Eight grams goes a long way. And then we're gonna put it back in into the mix-in. If I had like more macros, I could definitely put more fun stuff. Check that out. That looks perfect. How good does that look? Oh, look at that. Whoa. Isn't this crazy, guys? This is just protein powder and flax milk. That's crazy. We're just... We're just gonna deal with it. I don't know how to scoop. That's one thing I didn't learn in culinary school, how to scoop ice cream. Check it out. I'm pretty happy about that. That's really good. Mm -hmm. It's the spot. This is my PM snack. It's way better than just having a boring protein shake. It's like so good. And you can get definitely get the same results on a Vitamix. I've done it, but it's a lot of manpower and yeah, I don't know, sometimes I get very close to burning out my motor and this is like made for this. Saves me time, it's fun. So yeah, there's that. And I use these and I chop them up because if you try to put this whole thing in there, it's, it's just not gonna work. It's too big, it's too big, you see? So I chop them up so you can just get like little flakes of it in each bite, it's so good. And I whipped out my pretty spoon for you guys Mm. That's good. That's so good. Always on go, feel like I'm never home. I get so slow, it's time to let it go. Got me going dumb, like I'm illiterate. Know you feeling it, I got you feeling this heat rise. Have you ever stayed up to the sunshine? Came through for a quarter in a crush time. Need to go flee on the run like just one time. Have a fun time. I just showered I needed to like clean my hair I've been putting it off for a while and I'm gonna make my favorite sushi bowl so I've been having this for a few weeks now every single night and it's just delicious so I wanted to share it with you guys it's super simple it's a tofu like sushi bowl so I'm just gonna take one sheet I have here my already pre-made and pre-measured rice I'm just gonna put it in the middle. Then I'm gonna put my tofu, which I air fried, and then use some of this umami sauce. I got this sauce at Whole Foods. It's really, really yummy. I'm just gonna put it right here. You don't wanna miss out on that sauce. Then I'm gonna measure it out about 30 grams of carrots. This is my pre-measured. Zucchini, you gotta have zucchini for your 
sushi roll. Cut out some avocado. Lots of cilantro. And over here, I have some cooked beets. And then I just take some of the, everything but the bagel seasoning and nor my messy hands. And we're just gonna put that on everything. You know? That's it, that's my sushi bowl. It's so good. I really don't have patience right now to make it look all pretty, but yeah, I just like eating it with my hands and putting like everything on the seaweed and just kind of having it like a hand roll is really yummy, really delicious. And I promise if you're one of those people that are like, oh my God, I hate tofu, you have to air fry it and you have to season it with your favorite seasonings. And I promise you will love tofu because it's so delicious. Check that out. Get a close up of that. Mm. I love my stevia during competition season. It's just like a sparkling water and it's caffeine free, but it's like cola flavored. They didn't have my favorite flavor at the store, which is like the grape soda. That's so good. And yeah, we're just gonna eat this. It took George like 15 minutes to set up the camera, so I am starving. <laughs> So I'm gonna head out and get the rest of my steps in. I have about 3,000 steps to go, so I'm just gonna go for a walk around the neighborhood. But before I do, I wanna announce last week's giveaway winners. Here are the winners, congratulations. You each receive $50 gift cards for Buff Bunny Collection. And today, there's a new giveaway. It's giveaway time. So for today's giveaway, I am giving away two mystery boxes to two lucky winners. They're gonna have I'm not gonna say, it's a mystery, you know? So all you have to do is leave a comment in the comment section down below. Make sure that you like this video and subscribe to the YouTube channel if you're new here, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.